The Trinity reuniting in Justice 2 issues 45 to 50. Five minutes into Amazo's attack, an armored Batman and his team arrive alone with Superboy, Wonder Girl, Starfire, and Steel meeting them on the battlefield. Batman says that those heroes will deal with the android while his team evacuate the people. Superboy and his team go all out on Amazo, but little can stop the rampaging android. Not even Batman's brother Eye program can discern a weakness. As he evacuates people, Oliver fires a nuclear warhead arrow at the android, blowing up its head. As Harley and Dinah question Oliver's choice of keeping a nuclear weapon in their house, Amazo returns, its head undamaged, blasting Oliver and Dinah as Superboy returns to the fight. Oliver and Diana luckily were saved by the Flash, who helps in the evacuation. Amazo goes after Batman, ripping apart his armor with ease. The android is only stopped from killing Bruce by Wonder Woman's arrival, who along with the now unarmored Batman and Superboy, ready to attack the android. In Gorilla City, Raz watches the destruction of Delhi, amazed at the android's attack. Damien calls for Vixen and Animal Man to come with him, and when they are alone, they learn that Damien wants to help them stop Raz's genocide. The gun-toting Batman, however, arrives to stop their coup. In the microverse, Ray Palmer and Ryan Choi explore the wonder of the mini-universe. The two scientists talk about the possibility of never-ending microverses as Ray gets an alert from his belt, telling Ryan that he has to go. Black Adam, meanwhile, attacks Amazo, but his power is no match for the android. Ray arrives, and on Batman's orders, shrinks into Amazo's head. Inside, he finds a brain unlike any he has ever seen, making him theorize that it is a combination of human and alien technology as he finds Brainiac's symbol. Ray realizes he's not alone in the brain and soon finds himself overrun by Spider-Bots, who as he tries to escape, cut one of his legs off. Confronted by Batman, Damien tries to convince him not to support Raz's plan, making the Batman say that he only wants the guilty to suffer. Damien says that he's not Batman and tells Jason Todd to remove his mask and be something better than the Batman. In Delhi, Batman is knocked unconscious during the battle with Amazo and left in the care of the other heroes who help along the evacuation. In Gorilla City, Jason, Damien, Vixen, and Animal Man break into Dr. Ivo's cell, who tells them that he isn't leaving thanks to Ra having his children and family hostage. Jason reveals, however, that his children and family are long dead and demands Ivo control his monster now. The doctor says that he cannot, and even if he could, Raz would already be dead. He does think, though, that he can slow it down, however, but he needs someone to keep him busy. Damien contacts Kara, telling her the situation and hoping she will come and help defeat the android and keep him busy. Getting her costume, Supergirl takes off for India, where Amazo is confronted by Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. Booster is prompt defeated by the android before Jaime can attack. Supergirl arrives in the nick of time and carries Amazo all the way to the moon. In the aftermath, the heroes regroup and try and find out what happened to Amazo. So Blue Beetle goes after it and finds out that Supergirl fights the android on the moon. In Ivo's lab, Ivo cuts Amazo's video feed to Raz so that Supergirl will remain a secret. Damien tells Kara to keep the android busy until they can turn it off. Kara, however, is grabbed by the android who tries to break her neck. Ivo's lab is infiltrated by Ra's granddaughter who, as Ivo finishes his work, shoots the doctor in the head, killing him. Blue Beetle arrives just in time to save Kara from the android. Jaime is soon attacked by the villain as Damien and his team fight his sister. On orders from Damien, Kara heats up Amazo's head before freezing it, allowing it to become brittle and able her to rip the head off clean, stopping the android in its tracks. With the battle over, the heroes in Delhi all get together, and Diana is surprised to learn that Cassie Sandsmark is on the battlefield somewhere. Finding her, Cassie greets Diana by telling her she doesn't need her help. Cassie tells Diana what Superman did to the Titans, and Diana reveals that she never knew about that. As Booster is insulted by Harley, Batman hopes Michael has contact with Blue Beetle on the moon. On the dark side of the moon, Supergirl finds Brainiac tech inside Amazo's skull. Getting Jaime to create a shell over them so she can speak with air, the two heroes thank one another, but Kara says she can't say who she is, and tells Jaime that Amazo's brain reminds her of a great evil. Kara hopes that Jaime won't tell anyone about her, and Jaime agrees, and the two heroes part ways. In Gorilla City, Damien's team battles his sister, but they are outmatched. 
Escaping, they are attacked by the Suicide Squad, who kill Animal Man as Damien is captured by Poison Ivy, leaving Jason and Vixen to escape alone. Back in the city, Raz finds his granddaughter has killed Ivo, and because of that and the laws of Gorilla City, she is arrested and taken to the city's prison. Solovar isn't pleased Ivo was taken from him, telling Raz his family is responsible for this. Athanasia is taken to the same cell Damien is in, but her gorilla guards are killed by Talia al Ghul, who tells her children that she is hidden for far too long and failed both of them and won't let it happen again. In Delhi, Batman is told that the Flash helped during the fight, which angers him, but when Batman tells him Barry was a hero, Batman wants him to leave quickly. Blue Beetle arrives back with news that Amazo is dead and lies to the heroes, saying Amazo malfunctioned. Before Diana and Black Adam can leave, Batman confronts them, but before a fight can break out, Connor disarms the situation, telling everyone to go home. At Wayne Manor, Selina is still watching over Alfred and the puppy, whom she is becoming increasingly frustrated with. Alfred arrives to take the puppy off her hands. Selina asks Alfred if he's okay, but he is unsure, but knows he is well enough to dress himself. A smoke alarm begins going off and Selina goes to investigate, thinking Alfred left something on the stove. Finding the boiling kettle, Selina is shot in the stomach, and when Alfred arrives to investigate, he finds himself at the end of Athanasia's guns. In Justice 2, issues 45 to issue 50, saw Ra's al Ghul's plan to unleash a Amazo and as Supergirl secretly involves herself in the world's events. Not only that, but the Titans return to the field of play as Connor kinda takes over the mantle of Superman since the world is without one at the moment. It was nice seeing him back in action as well as the other Titans, despite most of the heroes throughout these issues kinda being defeated by Amazo off panel and just sort of being set decoration for the whole fight. The fake Batman was also revealed to be Jason Todd, the person everyone already knew was the fake Batman. Batman. I'm not really sure why it took 50 plus issues to reveal his identity, but I guess we got there eventually. I very much enjoyed these action-packed issues and I can't wait to read what's next. I'm going to give these issues an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join in the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.